Hi guys, how are you? Welcome back to Pure MMT for the 100% Beyond the Memes. Uh, let's talk a little bit about this MMT. Hey, print for everybody, you know, free money for the people's economy. The myth uh, is that deficits are, uh, are bad. Yeah, don't worry about it. Everything is fine. Uh, as I mentioned in other videos, uh, we printed a little about six trillion dollars in a little over a year, okay. And we also collected in taxes another six trillion, which is nine trillion. Real GDP is about nineteen point five, okay. So that's about a little less than fifty percent of GDP was spent in less than a year. As a result, what did we get? Nothing. Okay? Nothing. You got nothing in terms of GDP growth. And don't blame lockdowns. Don't blame COVID. Okay? Um, we got no economic growth out of the deal. We did, however, get inflation. Inflation that MMT never saw. These are these are people that are supposedly have the uh, description of the mo how the monetary system works. These people who come up with prescriptions or has how the economy should be, right? We've been deficit spending now forever and a day, and what you've seen, okay. The first of all, it's nothing modern. Right, but GDP growth has been falling the more and more and more that we deficit spend. Uh, when you look at it the converse way, okay, government spending to GDP has continuously increased, not decreased. It's a one way street. The more you print, the more you have to print more you have to print, the more you're going to have to print, print, print. <laughs> so, look at that. 44% of GDP was government spending. 44%. This is the Soviet Union. Okay? Soviet Union. Look at this graph here. Okay? Stimulus 1, you got a bump. Stimulus 2, you got a little bump. Stimulus 3, you got another bump. And now we're here. Now what? What happened to all this? Oh, their red ink is our black ink. Oh, dream of trillions of in deficits. What happened? Isn't that supposed to be our savings and everything is wonderful and we can just print to prosperity? Right? Nonsense. Conversely, when you look at BlackRock, BlackRock back in 2007, I think, was just under $1 trillion uh, un, uh, assets under management. Just a little bit less. Today, it's at $9.5 trillion. $9.5 trillion. 50% of GDP is controlled by BlackRock, assets under management. Didn't I tell you the government deficits only enrich the top 5% and put those liabilities on the 95% way before this happened? Years now, I've been saying the same thing. Not just me, pure MMT. Well, now it's just me, but, right? How much more data does somebody need to figure out that, wait, <laughs> MMT is a Trojan hurt, a horse. They're, they're not here for us. They're here for the top 5%. Deficits only benefit the top 5%. They don't benefit us. I mean, how much more? How much more data do you need? Uh, look, uh, this is all you got. Okay, this is real disposable uh, personal income. That's it. Little bump, little bump, 
another bump, boom, right back down. Six trillion, and another three trillion in tax revenues. Nine trillion, that's all you got. Oof, oof. So what? We didn't print enough. <laughs> we just need to print a little bit more, and then we're all going to be rich. MMT is garbage, my friends. It's garbage economics. All right. I told you they would never see inflation coming. They, they don't even know what inflation looks like. Okay. They just kind of assume that, well, we didn't have inflation thus far. Therefore, we won't have any inflation to worry about it. Look, see, we predicted it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, by the way, this is only going up to five. Uh, inflation right now is up here. Okay. So let's go back to 2017. And Stephanie Kelton is saying, how are we going to pay for it? How are we going to pay for it? Don't worry about it. Worry about how we're going to spend it. Worry about how we're going to spend the government deficits. Don't worry about how we're going to pay for it. Making everybody feel warm and fuzzy. Uh, 2019. Uh, Stephanie Kelton. Natasha. Um, the only limit really is inflation. That's the only limit. You can print as much as you want. The only limit is inflation. Okay. Uh, somebody said that, yeah, it's kind of like, yeah, you can go to a buffet, eat as much as you want, all of it, if you can, but just before you get you start gaining weight. <laughs> very, very nice analogy. This is true. Okay, so inflation is the limit. Here's inflation. We have inflation now. Here it is. Now what? Where is MMT and Natasha K Kelton uh, and Mosler to come out and be like, oh, whoa, 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 we have inflation, we got to tame this? Nowhere. They just don't even acknowledge it. They didn't even see it coming, let alone acknowledge it. Right? That's their description. Just pretend it doesn't exist and talk about uh, TED Talks and book signings and uh, Bernie Sanders and politics and COVID, everything except economics and inflation. <laughs> All right, uh, Warren Mosler. Uh, this is also in 2019. Uh, rate hikes cause inflation. So rate hikes cause inflation. Does he know that we are at zero interest rate policy at, right, uh, at this moment? And that inflation is all the way up here to 5.4%. And that's not even the reality of it all. Because rents are up 10% from last year. Housing is up 24%. Used cars are up 45%. Is that because uh, of rate hikes? not because we have zero interest rate policy how can anybody take this person serious well, you know what he run, runs around saying oh it's trans supply chain you gotta worry about it it's supply chain it's transitory it's transitory what does transitory mean that prices are gonna come down next year rents are gonna come down 10% homes are gonna come down 24% uh, used cars are going to come down 45%. Is that what transitory means? No. In absolute terms, there's no such thing as transitory. Absolute terms, inflation is going to stick. Not in everything. In the big ticket items. Where it matters. Okay? That's going to stick. That's not transitory. But that's what he'll sell you. Because he wants to deny it. Okay, that's what MMT is about. Inflation is the limit until we get inflation, then we pretend, uh, we just say the word transitory, don't worry about it, it's okay. <laughs> uh, Natasha Kelton again in 2020 now, and she says 3.1 trillion, that scares many people. It shouldn't, huh? It shouldn't. How are we going to pay for it? Don't worry about how we're going to pay for it. 
Well, at least you have your answer now, right? We know who is paying for it and how it's being paid for. You are going to pay for it through inflation. Okay? Natasha doesn't care about that. That's why she was telling you, don't worry about how you're going to pay for it. Because it's going to be you through inflation. Okay? Colin Rochi. It's transitory. Not in absolute terms, it's not, my friend. Not in absolute terms. Okay? And he said that before uh, inflation rose again to 5.4%. Don't let these people fool you into this crazy kind of economics. Don't let it happen. Energy up 24%. Uh, sorry, 44%. Yeah, energy. Uh, energy commodities 44%. Gasoline up 45%. Fuel oil 45%. Uh, electricity up 3.5, 3.8, sorry. Um, Gas, 15.6%. Food, 45 I'm sorry, all items less food. Uh, energy, 45 Used cars, 45%. Apparels, 4.9%. Transportation services, up 104 All right. Well... That's MMT, print to inflation, and then when it comes here, don't do anything about it. Just pretend it's not, it's not here. Make pretend it's going to go away and going to go right back down next year. The rate of change might change, but the absolute will not. Okay. And this lady is going to be giving TED talks. Yeah. TED talks. Imagine. And she's nervous about it. It's harder than writing a book. America has failed miserably. Miserably. If we're going to allow this lady to be on a TED Talk, teaching our kids that they should go out and just be good economists and ask what their government can do for them. Okay? Miserably, we have failed that we allow this to happen. It's horrible. It's horrible. Because remember, it's going to be your kids that are going to be paying that 24% more on a home, 10% more on rent, 45% more for a used car. It's your kids. And that's just in one year. One year. What's it going to be like next year, the following year? Right? This is who you want to teach your kids finance, economics, to ask stuff from government. And America has not failed. Oof. Oof. This is horrible. Uh, I've told you guys for years now. It's been years I've been telling you about the MMT Trojan horse. Years. And everybody just wants to believe in this golden goose, the magic money tree. We're all going to be rich. Let's put her on TED. And teach our kids to, hey government, I deserve this. And that. And I want this for free too. Bravo. We're headed in the right direction. All right, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.